Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Um, I just said that. I'm Basola, and um, I'm thinking this video is going to be hopefully less than five minutes. Fingers crossed, because this is real simple and we're just gonna get to the point. So I just wanna talk about um, SPF and summertime. I wanna specifically focus on SPF for darker skin or for women of color. If you feel like you always are shopping for SPF and you just can't find um, one that suits your skin tone and you're just always struggling with some, I will let you know in this video. I'm sure if you could just do a quick Google search, you could find it. But I wanted to do to do this video because a lot of the times when I get clients that are dark skin and I tell them or I ask them about the SPF that they wear, they're like, well, I don't wear SPF. And you know, I'm always reiterating the importance of SPF, especially now that it's summertime. Um, a lot of people don't realize just cause you know, we have all this richness and amazing um, melanated skin does not mean that we can't get, you know, like skin cancer. Um, you could still get like, you know, you wanna protect your, your skin from the UV rays and stuff like that, sunspots. You just wanna be able to protect your skin. So, um, I don't remember when I started wearing SPF, but I know it was something important. And I don't like SPF in things. Like, I know a lot of people are always looking, wow, I said this video was gonna be less than five minutes and I'm already talking. Anyway, um, I just wanted to tell you why. I was kind of doing this video, um, but I don't like SPF in products that much. If it's not like the first three ingredients, I'm kind of like not interested because then it's not as active as you need it to be. So I always prefer my SPF separated from um, products. So my first and favorite one is this i only have two with me the other one either i had a tester of and or i've used it and i really liked it and i just moved on to these um so it's just this one you guys will see that i'll also annotate it on the screen this is the super goop um sunscreen mousse and it's spf 50. so i really love this and it just i don't want to spray it. it's gonna go all over the place um i will though in a picture i will insert the picture everything swatched so you guys can see um, the hydration level and what it looks like on my skin tone. Um, and you can see that it's not like purple or white or gray or whatever other color SPF shows up on people's skin, especially dark skin on. Um, I really, really love this because it's really hydrating. I love wearing this, especially days where I know I'm not gonna wear makeup or especially days I know I'm gonna be outside just walking about these streets. Um, I love it. I put it all over my body. Well, I put it from like my chest up. I really love using this on my face. Now, because this is so hydrating, like it's really, really hydrating, um, I use it as my moisturizer on my face um, when I'm wearing this. I don't wear it every day because I have other SPF. Um, I don't wear it every day, but I really, really love it. Like, it's so hydrating and refreshing. Like after I do my um, morning routine, which is not a lot depending on what I do the night before. I just love it. SPF 50, it's amazing, it's great. I don't really need to say anything else about it. Um, this bad boy right here, they come in a lot of um, like SPF numbers. This is 30 and I, I know I have seen this in 50, 70 and 100. Cause I feel like after SPF 50 something, it's not really doing anything stronger. Um, but that's just my, like, we can be debated on that. <laughs> or you can debate somebody else. Don't debate me. Cause I'm, I'm not, I don't know these things perfectly, but I just know after like SPF 50, it's, you're just paying more. Really? Um, I love this. This, when, I love using it when like I'm showing my legs or I'm showing a lot of body parts. It's still SPF, but I love the mist. Like it's very, it makes your skin very like illuminated. Like if you were wearing like a top that I'm wearing right now, I would like it when I'm going outside, I would just like spray it all over my um, chest. 
just like right here if i'm wearing a jacket but if i'm not i'll spray it all over my arms and your skin would just be glowing and glistening and you can even amp it up by wearing um some like liquid uh highlighter on you and you just be glowing for the gods because <laughs> why not the next one i'm gonna talk about i kind of have them in a the sample jar because i've actually used all three of these before and um i just like ran out and i got a sample of days where i just want to use them because i still have the these big ones i just don't want to have so much spf accumulating you know um so this is the shiseido one i don't even know why i'm holding it up like this you guys can't tell so the next one i'm going to mention is the shiseido one um and i will annotate it on the screen it is the dark blue one it is spf 50. now this is this one is more liquidy even though it is just like a pinkish white if you guys can see that it's a pinkish white color um and that's the only one from the shiseido spf line that i like that's the only one that works for my skin complexion um because the other one they're just like chalky very thick and it's like a purple it lives like a film and it's not even like just a film there's color there there's like it's like a i don't have time going outside looking like cast by the ghost and it's like it's fine for some people if you can wear the ones that leave a, a cast on your face and you're gonna wear makeup and you're like I'm just going outside I'm not gonna have my pictures taken and after you put on your makeup it doesn't you know affect your makeup it doesn't change um, the formulation of the way the makeup sits on your skin that's completely fine I don't know about every SPF in the world so I'm not saying I'm an expert on that I just want to make that very clear I'm just trying to share what I know works a lot for um, women of color, specifically dark skin people, because I'm dark skin and you know, the people I've used it on are also dark skin and it just, there's nothing there. So this is why I'm talking about these because I've used them, I've experienced them. And um, I don't like the other Shiseido ones. I just don't, it just does not look good. No ma'am, no ma'am. Um, the other one I want to talk about um, I have everything written down here. That's why I'm looking down. Um, it is the Alginist Sublime Sublime Defense. And it's just pure white. Like, it looks white. But when you go on the skin, when you put it on the skin and you rub it in, there's no, um, there's no residue of any color. There's no white or lavender cast um, left on the skin. It's just like is just it's invisible really and i really like it it's something i also use as a moisturizer or i'll mix it in with my moisturizer the only thing i don't ever mix with anything is the super goop one because it's just ridiculously hydrating and um if you mix it with a moisturizer you're crazy because it's just like it doesn't matter what skin type you have even when you have dry skin it's really hydrating like that shit is amazing i love it and the fifth and last one that i am going to talk about is also from super goop and it's the unseen um what is this unseen sunscreen um it is a thicker consistency like it's a different consistency to the mousse one i just love the mousse because if you spray it once whatever comes out that's all you need because it's just it's so hydrating i love it <laughs> um but i like this one for just like my face like i like that too but this i can mix i could put on right before i'm gonna put on um my foundation i don't really like wearing this guy with any makeup i i don't i just love my skin looking really dewy even though i'm really oily i like my skin looking really dewy and hydrated and just like glowing with that um with the unseen sunscreen i put it on i so like i wouldn't use like primer i'll use it as my primer i'll put the spf on and um use like a water-based moisturizer and then pat it down so this is a step i do like right after i get out the shower or after i wash my face and then just like let it sit on my skin for maybe 15 to 20 minutes if i wear makeup then i'll wear I'll wear makeup on top of it but if I want it to just because it's I don't know it's, they say it's good for 
all skin types but because i'm really oily it will move if i don't set it properly um but the type if i have makeup on so sometimes if i don't have makeup on and i still know it's gonna make me super oily i just use my rcma no color powder i pat it on top set my face with um all nighter and call it a day so those are my top five like out of all the SPF I've used, these are like my top, top five. Um, there's also really another good one. <laughs> this also really, there's also another really good one from um, Peter Thomas Roth. And I will annotate that on the screen right here so you guys can see it. So I just kind of wanted to share that. Stop going outside with no sunscreen on. Just because you're black doesn't mean you don't need sunscreen. You absolutely need you absolutely need <laughs> you absolutely need sunscreen okay you need sunscreen you, you you do and that is the end of this video and I know I said it would be five minutes and I'm sure this is longer than that sorry okay bye